don't know, I reckon. I've got pink socks on. You are not ready for this item. <gasps> Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. Every time I start my video like that now, I think of my friend Abby. So she messaged me, I think it was last week or the week before, and she said every time she puts on one of my videos, the first thing she does is she mouths, mouths along with me. Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. Just because I say it at the beginning of every video. I said to her, I feel like maybe should I change it? And she was like, no, no, I don't think you should. Like I think that it's sort of like, you know, it's identifiable. Like she obviously remembers me saying it a lot because she mouths it when I put my videos on. Anyway, and today I'm so excited. This is my first ever autumn haul. I am excited. I love watching autumn hauls, whether it's homeware, makeup related stuff, fashion, food. Anyway, I love this type of content. Like, I just find it so cosy. It's them kind of videos that you can literally tuck yourself up in bed and sit and watch just literally videos one after the other of them. So I'm really excited to be doing my own, my first ever one. So, if you haven't already, pause the video, go and get yourself a nice hot drink, um, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a hot chocolate, a mulled wine, it's not quite mulled wine season yet, but I'm not going to judge. So, I'm just going to start off by showing you the things that I purchased recently, my autumnal purchases. <laughs> so, the first one that we actually have is food related. This is actually autumnal food, and yes, you can get autumnal food. I love the word autumnal. I just love the way that it sounds. Anyway, I actually picked up the Thornton's Seasonal Collection box of chocolates. So I was out shopping and picked someone up a gift from there and when I was in there, I saw this box and was just like, that's gonna be really good for an autumn haul and also good for my stomach, but not good for my diet. However, you win some, you lose some. I'm not gonna lie, this box of chocolates is empty. Literally, completely empty. Listen, I have been moving house. I've had this box of chocolates for weeks. So I didn't eat them all at once. I literally went through them over the course of like a week. So I can't just save them. Like what benefit would it bring me showing you a full box of chocolates? I've still kept the little menu so I can tell you exactly what kind of chocolates you're gonna be getting in this chocolate box. So the first one is strawberries and cream. Not, not my kind of vibe. I'm more of like a chocolatey real chocolate kind of girl. Almond praline, this one was quite nice actually. Um, there's like some little nuts on top and then like a smooth, um, what is it? A smooth almond praline in a milk chocolate cup topped with crunchy almond croquant, croquant? Anyway, tempting toffee, nutty caramel, double chocolate, mm, that one was amazing. Ginger pudding, I didn't actually try any of those. I think someone else ate them in my family. Orange blush, didn't think I'd like it. Not really a fan of fruity chocolate, but Terry chocolate orange vibes, you can't lose with that. Honeycomb baton and gooey caramel. So that is the chocolates that you get in this box and they were very, very tasty. Let me tell you that. I believe these were 10 pound for this box. You only get one layer. What happened to getting double layers in chocolate boxes? I might start a chocolate company and the only rule that I have is that you always get double layers. Let me know if that's something that you would also like too. So if you watch my moving vlog part two, then you will have seen that I went into TK Maxx and HomeSense to get some autumn scented candles and they didn't have any, none. They had one like orange and cinnamon one that would just it smelled spicy to me. I was really disappointed. So I decided to go on Etsy and see if I can get a candle off there. I literally just typed in autumn, autumn candles and these are one of the top ones that came up. So this is the YR Studio Cinnamon Pumpkin with Vanilla and Nutmeg Candle. You cannot really get much more of an autumnal candle than that. And the smell. Oh my God. Goodness, I can't even describe how nice this is. It honestly is, oh, it smells absolutely delicious. So it comes in this little jar. The only thing, the only thing that I would say is that generally when you go to like Home Sense and TK Maxx, you can get a lot bigger candles for a lesser price than this was. However, I, I did expect this to be a little bit bigger um, than it is, but 
this also is one a small business someone on Etsy a seller someone who literally hand makes these whereas if you were to get something from a big company like TK Maxx or HomeSense whichever company that candle is from it's more than likely going to be filled in some kind of factory or something they're not handmade so for the sake of supporting a small business I don't feel like it's really really expensive i think this is 11.99 including delivery which isn't too bad i'm not too sure what the burning time on this is um it doesn't actually have it on but i will let you know i mean the smell is amazing anyway and i don't mind because it actually looks really pretty as well it fits in with the theme of my room it's really really beautiful oh my god it smells amazing i can't wait to burn it um i've been waiting to get this so that one i could film the video but two i can't wait to burn it now i didn't want to burn it before I actually did this video um just because what did it to look all nice and pretty so yeah so i got that and the next oh my goodness the next item you are not ready for this item this is incredible i was watching amy rose walker on youtube and she had these slippers that she got off amazon and she said that they were white company dupes so i was like I wonder what white company slippers they actually are because the dupes were lovely and I was like, I'm going to get them. Then when I went on to white company, I saw these slippers and fell in love. I could not stop thinking about them. I literally would go on the website every day and be like, oh, I know, like I've spent so much money on makeup this month and everything else. I know that I'm not supposed to. So I was just like, no, I'm not going to do it. But however... And here is the thing that's even better. I technically didn't do it, my parents did. Um, so they very, very kindly, very kindly knew how much I wanted these slippers and they treated me to a pair of them. And I think, I honestly, like, they are the best i love them so much but yeah i am so excited basically went into the shop and was like please 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 have these slippers in stock because they're gonna run out like they're gorgeous slippers and i went in they had them and it was the last pair and i was just like this is this is just meant to be so the dupes that amy rose walker shown on her youtube video were 20 pound now these were 35 i personally feel like I would rather spend the extra £15 to get these slippers just because I do prefer the colour of them. Um, don't get me wrong, the other ones were beautiful, but I just feel like you're probably going to get something a little bit higher quality from here. I am so happy that I've got these. I'm going to show you the slippers now because I just realised I've not even shown you the slippers yet. I love them so much so these are basically crossover slider slippers and these are the comfiest slippers i have ever had I've them so much i really hope they last because the problem with some slippers is that you can run them down really quickly so i really hope that these last a while i mean they do feel really sturdy the base of them is very sturdy the inside is soft and they look absolutely like look at that they are stunning. They are gorgeous, gorgeous slippers. I'll insert a little clip of me with them on and stuff just so I can show you because I don't know whether I can... I've got pink socks on. I don't know whether I can get my foot up there to show you exactly. And do them justice, of course. So, yeah, these are from White Company. These are £35 and these are one of my favourite... Well, I was going to say purchase. I didn't purchase them. I was gifted them. One of my favourite things that I have so far this year. I love them. I wear them all the time. They're amazing. I'll start off with why I bought this one. I actually saw on Madison Sarah's YouTube that she had this Love Handles vase. So if you've not seen what that is, I'll pop a little image on the screen of what it is. And I was like, oh my God, that is incredible. I'm going to get that vase. I looked and it was like £350 or something like that or 310 And I was like, whew, yeah, I haven't got that kind of money. <laughs> it's literally like a piece of art. And I was like, I get it, but my purse don't get it. So I actually just happened to be looking on H&M Home not long after I'd looked for the Love Handles one. And I'm so excited to be showing this to you. Now, this might not be to everyone's taste. I might be sat here going, this is stunning, it's amazing, it's the best piece of home, I, the best home item I've ever purchased. And you might look and be like, eh? 
but it, it just attracted me instantly. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I actually picked up this vase. So this is absolutely stunning to me. I think that this is such a really nice piece and it's like a statement piece. It's literally something to be on display, a decorative item, something that can really, really make a room. That is my genuine belief on this. She also has a little bit of a, the booty out at the back there. So excited to style this in my room because I feel like it's gonna go so well so this was I think this was 19.99 which for me I'm like I'd pay double that for this vase and I don't think I would ever say that about a vase but this I genuinely would and um, so hopefully it'll still be in stock and it'll still be on the website and I can link it down below I actually picked something else up off Etsy to go in the vase and I picked up this dried flower bouquet um, so this is just like a mixture of some like pampas grass and then it's got some other little dried flowers in there I think this is really pretty. I can't wait to put this in the vase. I didn't want to put it in before I had shown you the vase on its own and these on its own. And they're all tied up really beautifully and I just knew I wouldn't be able to get it back like that if I separated them. The only thing I would say is that, so I think in this vase it's probably going to look the perfect amount. But if you are going to purchase something like this or these, then just make sure that the vase that you're getting isn't too big for this kind of bouquet. How beautiful are those though? It might need a little bit of jigging around. <gasps> Look at how amazing that looks. Oh my goodness. I love that. <gasps> Oh my God, it's stunning. They look beautiful together. I can't wait to just judge it up a little bit. They'll probably need separating inside um, and I'll probably try and have it a little bit further out. I'll probably put a bit of stuff in, in the bottom of the vase just to make sure that it is tall enough. But look at how stunning that looks. I'll insert some little clips of how it sort of really looks because I really feel like these sit down videos when you're showing them, never really does it justice. But I am so happy with that. Yeah, I feel like I need to sort of spread them out a little bit and just arrange them a little bit more but oh my goodness i love that so much let me hold it right back there and see <gasps> oh my god that looks stunning i'm so happy with that honestly isn't like me to purchase something like that but i saw it i loved it i loved the okay to go with it i thought that it was perfect so i guess it was meant to be um but that is everything that's in this autumn haul i hope that you enjoyed it obviously there's no fashion or beauty products in here um, but i might think about doing something like that because i brought out some of my old knitwear from last year and i really feel like i need to do a bit of a refresh but this month i'm really trying to focus on not spending too much money on stuff just because last month i spent quite a lot and I'm trying to save. I'm trying to be a little bit more frivolous with my money. Frivolous or thrifty? Thrifty or frivolous, anyway. I'm trying not to sit, spend too much, but yeah. So I'll probably think in the future about doing maybe a sort of like a knitwear haul or maybe even like a fall makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to shop any of the items that I featured in this video, I'll try and link everything down below. If it's not linked, then I'll leave a little note to tell you why, whether it's gone offline or whatever. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I do have a giveaway coming at a thousand subscribers, which is really, really exciting. I cannot wait to announce that. It's a huge, huge giveaway, but you will need to be subscribed so that you get notified when the video goes up. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you here again very, very soon. Thank you. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name